So just the other day, I posted my video about going down to the record exchange in St. Louis, Missouri, and interviewing Gene and Jenna, the owners down there. And in the four days that it's been posted, it's had over 4,000 views already. And that's extremely humbling, and it shows how much positivity and support there really is out in YouTube land for this type of content and support for that type of store. And not only is it support here on YouTube for my channel, which I greatly appreciate, the positive support also spread over to the Facebook page when they reposted my video and I made mention of the fact that I had posted this video uh, here on my channel. And it got a lot of support. And so I highly recommend you guys, you know, seek out the Facebook page, definitely give a shout out to Jenna and Jean over there. They definitely do deserve it. And because of that, I'm making this video here today. This is just going to be kind of a compilation of all the extra footage uh, that I shot when I was down there at the record exchange. So mainly the video I wanted to do was about the interview and talking to Gene and Jenna, because to my knowledge, it's one of the only times they've been featured in a YouTube video or anything of that nature outside of some local newspapers and maybe a couple local like news stories in the St. Louis area. But they've never really been promoted on a platform that can reach as many people, even as small of a channel as mine is. So I really wanted to focus on that. But I also shot a whole bunch of just not really B-roll footage, but other little like snippets and segments that I thought I could fit into the original video, but when I was editing it, it really just didn't work out. So I figured I could take all these little bits and bobs and pieces of other segments that I shot that didn't really fit into the original video and make a secondary video of just that sort of stuff here today. And then make sure you stay tuned until the end. I have a few little outtake uh, blooper kind of funny bits there at the end that you guys may enjoy. And before we get into the actual video, I know I don't say this very often, but if you do like my content here on my channel, definitely consider liking and subscribing and definitely leave a comment down below. I love talking to everyone out there. Uh, you know, this greatly supports my channel when you guys do that and, you know, keeps me motivated to keep producing content. So with that out of the way, let's get into the second video about the record exchange with just some random stuff that I put together. So the record exchange, like the name would imply, is real big on records and not only just regular 33 and a third albums, but also 45s. And if you look around me here in this room, this is an entire room of just 45 singles. And I've purchased records from here before. Uh, today isn't really about that. Today is more about finding some stuff for my home theater. So some DVDs, some Blu-rays, you know, demo material, things like that. And a couple items to just sell on my whatnot streams, which that'll be linked down below. So this is a 45 room and you can find really whatever you're looking for. There's all kinds of genres, all kinds of artists. It would take all day to sit here and go through everything. But this is just one room in the building. This is the old St. Louis Public Library building. So there is a ton of stuff here. And I'm going to take you through a couple of the other areas and rooms here at Record Exchange. Now, I'm not here today talking about the actual records or the cassette tapes or the 45s or CDs, all the music-related stuff that they've got. I'm mainly here for home theater items. And even though I'm not buying any amplifiers or receivers, if you kind of look around, this is an entire room. It's a little bit cramped. But this is an entire room of just AV receivers and amplifiers. So some of these units are a little bit more expensive than the deals I find on Shop Goodwill or eBay that I've talked about in some of my other videos. But one of the benefits that you would get coming here, as opposed to buying online, is they actually test and really stand behind the equipment that they supply here for purchase. So even though these receivers are $175, $100, $200, or even some of the higher-end Marantz receivers are like $300, you're actually paying that price because they have technicians that will actually look at the items and make sure they work, and they have a pretty good return policy. So if something is wrong, you can bring it back, and they'll either look to fix it, or they'll just let you exchange it for store credit or for something else. So even though the price is a little bit higher than what I would normally pay for something here, you actually have more of a benefit 
for buying it here because there's more reliability and, and more like peace of mind knowing that the item that you're going to get is actually tested and working. And most of them come with the actual accessories. So most of these units have their remotes or like the little calibration microphones and stuff, power cables, all that, which you kind of run the risk of that not being there when you buy it online. And since you're buying it in person, uh, even though they do have a website in an eBay store, you don't really have to run the risk of these items getting damaged in shipping because you're physically coming and you can actually feel the item and look at it in person and take it with you when you buy it. So if you're in the area, you can come and get a pretty good deal on some of these. For example, right back over here, there is an Ankyo receiver for $200. That's not a bad deal. It's not the same as when I go on Shop Goodwill and buy something. Uh, but there's some Ankyo receivers. There are some really nice Marantz receivers here, too, that would suit your home theater needs. Uh, there's also some other non-receiver related stuff. They have some VHS players. They have just some regular power amplifiers. But this is definitely a pretty cool space. So if you're looking for receivers and other audio type equipment for your home theater, you can definitely find some of that here at the Record Exchange. Not only are they big into physical media in terms of music, so there's a ton of CDs, ton of tapes, ton of records, 45s, 33s, all that stuff. There's also a ton of VHS tapes like these. These are all music VHS tapes, but also quite a bit of DVDs and Blu-rays. And they're broken down kind of by genre. So there's a bunch of martial arts and wrestling and UFC stuff here. But then they also have a pretty good section of horror movies which I know is a big genre favorite for a lot of people out there on YouTube land and out in the collectors. So when you come here, there definitely is a lot of different stuff you can pick up. Uh, I myself actually grabbed a few different items that I'm going to get that I'll talk about later. But they range in a pretty good price uh, from $1 all the way up to 8 and 10 and sometimes up to like 15 or 20 depending on if they're a set or if they're something special but yeah so these are a bunch of the dvds and then we'll go over to the next section i'll show you some of the other stuff here in the store so i'm looking for both dvds and blu-rays and some movie content here for my home theater today but also i happen to stumble across this disney wow disc which i talked about in the first video of my calibration series which will be linked up in the corner you can find these online, they're not too expensive. But here at the Record Exchange, this is only $8, so I'm definitely gonna pick this up. So when you buy a calibration disc such as this, you're gonna get a couple different items. So not only are you gonna get the actual Blu-ray or DVD with the content on there, you're gonna get a little booklet that tells you about how to do some calibrations and things like that. But one of the big things you're gonna get with something like this that you really wanna have that's a nice little feature that these discs have that you won't get if you download the AVS uh, HD benchmark disc that I talked about is that you get a blue filter and a blue filter is basically something you have to put up over your eye to look at your screen to adjust color and tint and you can't really do it if you don't have the blue filter to make everything match so when you find something like these whether it's online or in the store it's definitely a good idea to see if you have the blue filter with it because that's a huge benefit to helping finalize your calibration of your projector or your TV. So obviously a big reason why I would come to a store like this and anyone who may be watching this video is not only just about the music and home audio equipment like a receiver or something like that, but also it's for speakers. And so the Record Exchange takes in a ton of speakers ranging from tower speakers like the Sony's and some other bigger ones that are sitting back here to larger bookshelf speakers to smaller bookshelf speakers or little on wall speakers, uh, computer speakers, center channels, or if you can see way back in here, giant subwoofers, which this one actually has piqued my interest, although I don't know if I'm gonna be able to buy it today, but they carry all kinds of that sort of stuff. And also if you're not into the actual home theater side of things, they also carry amplifiers and speakers like PA speakers for people who are musicians. You know, if you play a guitar, a bass, you know, things like that. So this is definitely a cool spot to come if you're looking for speakers and other type of equipment in that kind of vein. Speakers are a big part of the home theater hobby and a personal favorite thing that I enjoy. And here at the Record Exchange, not only do you get some more 
normal or what I would consider normal speakers like Sony's and Klipsch and Yamaha and Pioneer, stuff like that. You can also get some really cool vintage or really high-end stuff. So like they have this Paradigm Center channel, which is a really high quality center. Or you can even get something like these, these Techniques speakers. These have a giant, I don't know, 10 or 12 inch uh, subwoofer on them. And they have this linear phase tweeter and mid-range woofer. These are some really cool speakers. These would definitely be something interesting to have in your home theater. Unfortunately, I don't think I could load it in my room uh, but something like these are really cool but you're also going to pay a little bit for them because i know these are about 500 dollars for the pair but these are some extremely nice speakers and would probably be something cool to have in your home theater to look at me you can look like you're looking at the are stuff you? yeah turn and look like you're pulling it out matt Jeez, i will Hello. well i'm trying to not have people <laughs> Yeah. Test one, two, three, test, test. Okay. I feel like you're very close to me. There, there, there. That's fine. All right, we'll start All right, over. I won't move, but you can use that footage. We'll, we'll start over it again. It looks fine. Okay. All right, boss. I only do this like hours at work, but okay. Sorry. Go ahead, mister. I'm going to leave all this in as an outtake of you no. yelling at me. You're talking to me, and you don't have to, we don't have to All right, hold on.